Welcome to Elon Paul's No Man's Sky, everybody. Good to have you all here today for the Anomaly Mission. Looking forward to doing this one. As you can hear, I'm pretty much back to just about 100% normal on the voice, so... Sorry, no Barry White version tonight, but we're going to go ahead and get that Anomaly Mission taken care of. Looks like we got some updates coming out. Uh, you folks have probably been watching a lot of the videos that have been online. Beeble Bomb, Captain Steve, and a bunch of others have been speculating on when the next update is going to drop. Um, not much in the way of speculation for most of them. Most of them are hopeful that it will be next week. Uh, the best way to tell is to watch for sales on the game. So either watch Steam or PlayStation, Sony that is, uh, watch Xbox, watch for the game to go on sale. And once it goes on sale at half price, that means that it's ready to drop. Usually followed, well, you never know, it might be followed by an expedition, we don't know. But we're hoping that there might be another one. We'll see what happens here. So here we are. We are on my one of my one of my main, many 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 bases. Uh, this is probably my favorite planet out of all of them, just because of how gorgeous this place is. Um, I just love it here. Absolutely love it. Looks great, especially when you can get your freighter in the background on uh, on a view like that. So you know, like if you do a screenshot or something like that, it just looks so much better. So, anywho, moving along. Let's go ahead and get our anomaly mission moving along. See what's see what it's all about today. So I'm going to use my solar ship, as you can see. There we go. All right, pulling the anomaly, and on our way. It's a very interesting system I'm in. I'm in. I think I've described it before, but it's one of the very few systems I found in the Eisentum galaxy that has three paradise planets in the same solar group. So that is really, really cool. I love that about this. And I've got two other planets in it. One is at a overheated moon, and I can't remember what the fifth one is off the top of my head. Toxic or something? Uranium? I don't know. Something along those lines. Oh, good. We're in the farthest parking space from civilization. Let's get up there and take a look and see what's going on. Now, we should check out... We're going to check out, of course, the Quicksilver vendor over there eventually and see what has been opened up as far as the tiers are concerned. That's another hint at it so we'll see what happens here well, it looks like we got a mission going on substantial losses uh we have to collect the cadmium um let me check my exosuit first i don't carry that stuff on my person anymore and i don't carry it on my ship either the only place it will be is on my freighter and if i'm not mistaken if it's carried in the main cargo area it can still be found so I am going to move this stuff real fast here. Uh, yeah, let's put it in here for now. It's maybe not the right exact spot for it, but that's okay. Because even though it says emerald, uh, you know, or cadmium it wants us to pick up, I don't believe it for a minute. There we go. That's what activated indium. This is what cadmium. This is activated copper. Okay, we're going to put the regular ones at the top, right? Okay, good. I'm a very big finicky person when it comes to organizing stuff. Uh, and I like to make sure everything's in its place, which is why this has been bothering me for quite some time. There we go, regular indium. Okay, so we have to put it in one of the cargo containers so that it cannot be found. So that should be good. We should be good now. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do this now. Because we are actually going to gather the minerals this time. Okay. Started. Let's get on our way. So it looks like we're we are gonna gather minerals. How interesting that we're that we're some of these missions are very, very simple when it comes to this stuff. So you go to the planet, you gather the uh, minerals that you need to gather, or whatever it tells you to gather in this case. And then you deposit it someplace. And the only thing that can sometimes happen is occasionally you'll get attacked when you go to return it. When you go to deposit it in whatever, whatever loot box it tells you to drop it off in. So that might be one of the issues that you run into here. But we'll see what happens. I like how my, sh my sails are not, for, well, not uh, out during the uh, travel here. There they are. They just popped in. Pretty ship. I really do like these solar ships. All right, what do we got? Tell me what planet to go to. You can do it. Use your words. There you are. Okay. Very good. Activated indium deposit. 
And again, for those of you who don't know, activated indium is one of the more rarer resources. It's in a blue star system. And if you don't have the rockets for it, that is the uh, hyperdrive activation for it, you will be fortunate enough to do this one and you can set yourself up a quick base here and you can come back here anytime you want and you don't have to worry about having that special hyperdrive for it. Oh, looks like we got a uh, nice place down there. All right, so we're looking for the deposit and we can just crash anywhere here to be honest with you. Doesn't look like this is a really bad planet at all, so watch your view screen up above for deposits as they pass underneath you. There, there was a couple right there. I love this drive. It is so cool. All right. And we really can stop anywhere. It's not a big, big deal. We will find a deposit someplace. Yeah, it looks like some people found some over there. Let's just drop down. Why don't we do that? I can do a scan. It's not going to really help us any. So we'll just go ahead and just park right here. Now, because it's an activated indium deposit that we're looking for, it's going to be uh, usually a pretty uh, horrific planet to be on here. So, could be bad storms. See? So, extreme heat in this place, it looks like. All right, let's take a look around. Looks like we got activated indium a thousand blocks away that way. Let's look for something just a little bit closer, maybe. Um, it's focusing on the rock. 820. That's a little closer. 814. Not by much. And 1,000. Let's just go ahead and head this way. This will be fine. Alright, on our way. Now... In, when the storm hits, it'll get us uh, better uh, efficiency out of our jetpack, so that's a good plus, but I do suggest you have some sort of heat protection because of that. So I'm going to actually charge mine up real quick. We can always call our ship in, because otherwise you're not going to survive long out here without your shield. You can get out, you'll be able to take 100, maybe 200, and then you jump back in your ship. And if you're in any kind of more difficulty, a higher difficulty mode other than normal, it's going to be even worse. Boink, boink. Running into things. Uh, that... Is that even a deposit? Yeah, I guess it is. We're going to need more than one. <clears throat> Frame manipulator. Let's go on the smallest setting. You can go to a bigger setting and gather this up a lot faster, but you will not get as much activated indium. This is not a good deposit. Looks like it's got a lot of silicate dust in it, so... It won't get us too, too much. Let's get see what kind of... See if we can get a couple hundred out of it. Now, if you happen to have some in your inventory, and you just want to go ahead and take some out of your inventory and drop it in, that is perfectly fine. I, I've got well over a thousand, as you saw, in my inventory, so I could have just pulled 880 out. But let's go ahead and do it like it's, you know, in the spirit of the whole thing, and we'll get it properly, shall we? Thank you all, by the way, for your well wishes and stuff. Family's on the well, well, well on the mend. Um, nobody has a fever anymore, that's the good part. Uh, my two youngest are in school again, so that's not a problem. They've been in school all week, and my two oldest are recovering. One has recovered a little quicker than the other, but that's because one's a wimp, one isn't. No, that's I'm all kidding. I'm just joking. Just joking. Okay, my cape is literally getting in the way of my viewpoint. Hey, look, looks like we got so uh, some of these uh, nice... Uh, Storm crystals here, so if you want to grab one, go ahead and grab them while you're here. Alright, there was another deposit. There it is. Over there. Now watch out for these these flames that are on the ground. You can get hurt. They will burn you. See, I stepped out of the storm temporarily by going under here. So let's go ahead and fly around, and you'll notice we get very good jetpack juice out of this.
Oh, that looks like a really good deposit, too. Let's grab a couple more storm crystals while we're here. Very nice. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is much better. We'll get the rest here. No problem. No problem at all. And if you want some for yourself, go ahead and grab some. Looks like we just had a pilot land over here. See, see, see my extreme storm is dropping at the bottom left real fast there? That's the problem. And this is normal mode. All right. Did anybody pop out of the ship? That I can see? No. Nope. This happens to me all the time lately. I've been getting uh, uh, traders dropping up out of the sh out of their ship over here, and the people that are in them don't drop out of them. Whoa! See what I mean? That's what you got to be careful of. That was that was a little bit touchy there. Now, fortunately, you got a counter at the bottom right. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and recharge you, huh? Okay. So it can keep track of that stuff. It'll pop up here in just a moment. We were probably a little over 400. There we go. So we can't trade with that guy because he won't pop out of a ship. But now oh, this is a really good deposit here. So as long as we don't get flames underneath our butts here, we should be all right. Uh, looks like it's turning into daytime. That's the that's what's. Uh, changing about this. Good deal. So those flames will be disappearing soon. Excellent. As the temperature drops from like 500 degrees. Um, why is it climbing back up to 400? Did we just get another storm coming through all of a sudden? That's really strange. I've never seen that happen before. That's new. I guess it was psych. Nope. Storm's not really going away. Jerks. Alright, we're almost there. We got about a hundred more to go. And then we can get going here. Almost there. Come on. 50 more. 50 more. We can do this. Yeah, that's really weird. I think it just restarted the storm. I wasn't trying to, I promise. It's where I didn't do anything. There we go. And you, like I said, you can gather a little bit more if you want, you know. Because you're going to turn most of it in, if not all of it. So if you want some extra activated cadmium, go ahead. At one time, this stuff was worth a lot more money. Uh, Yeah, see, 165 units each. Used to be worth well over a thousand each. Okay. We want to pull our ship in. There it is. And there she is. In all her glory. Love it. The blue divide, I call her. Alright. And... So, when we get there, there's a chance that we may be attacked. At the secure depot. It just depends upon what it is. If it's just a trade station, then it's not really a big deal. Yeah, exactly. Here it is. Yeah, so we're not going to be attacked here. This is just going to be dropping it in a drop box in there and we're all done. So yeah, you shouldn't have any issues. At least I think it is. Are we... Yep, yep. It just changed. Okay, good. Alright. So this was pretty straightforward. Not a lot to it. Kind of an extreme planet, so... You know, no big deal there. Uh, delivery lockbox prepared. Accessing. This must be Polo Secure Lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. So you see, it's only taking 750 of it. So if you gathered all 880, you're going to walk away with an extra 130, so that's kind of nice. And if you gathered any more than that, it's all yours. So there you go. Delivery processing, success, you're done. Time to go to the Nexus to receive our reward. Our eternal reward. Okay. Turn to the Nexus. Let's get out of here. And... There we go. Boom. And we're back. Excellent. 
again, thank you all for your well wishes. Doing a lot better now. I do plan on maybe making some videos over the weekend. There's a possibility, I haven't decided yet, that I may do some streaming tomorrow night. Um, we have a lot of catching up to do as far as on our Minecraft side. In Stardew Valley, we started a few weeks ago, and then we got hit by COVID, and we never could get anywhere with that. So, uh, yeah. I've taken some time, though, on my own to play some games. Uh, Viewfinder is one of them I decided to play through. Uh, very interesting game. Um, not much in the way of replayability, I, but I did like it, so. Okay, here we go. Complete the mission. And there we go, 1800 Quicksilver, a couple of uh, ion batteries there, always handy. And I think that was it, there we go. So there's our Quicksilver. Let's go check out the Quicksilver vendor and see what we got in store for us. See how far along the tiers we are. We can check our log to do it too, but this is much more fun. Okay, so we got the blue flight decal is now open for us. That's kind of a nice looking decal, is it not? I'm really looking forward to the outlaw one. It doesn't look right on the left, but on the right hand side, I love the skull that it has in there. That looks really cool. So we're about 21% in, and the more of us who make who do these missions inside the anomaly or at the nexus there will increase the tier and get the percentage going. This will reach 100% by the time our update drops. So that should tell you how close we are. So there we are. That should do it. So I now have the new decal as well. And I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I've got an angry cat in the background. He really would like to go outside. But I'm not going to let him. So there. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and call it here. I really would like to thank you all for being here. Please hit the like and subscribe. And I've got a lot more videos. Uh, you know, if you check the rest of my channel out there, there's a lot of videos I've done. I've done permadeath runs. I plan on doing the Fugitive Challenge over the weekend, I think. Like I said, if I do the stream tomorrow night, we're going to do the Fugitive Challenge where I picked up from. Uh, and we'll, we'll continue that as well. Um... And as that progresses, I may start another fugitive run and do it as on the side as just a video itself. But I know a lot of people do like permadeath, uh, no starter ship challenges, just regular no starter ship challenges. And I might do that, but I'm going to start doing them with no HUD. I think I'm going to do a lot of no HUD challenges. So watch for some of those to come out soon. Not to mention when the update comes out, if there's an expedition, we'll be showcasing that as well. So let's see how well we can do. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Want to say goodbye to everybody and take care. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Thanks.